Pioneer Library System at the Newcastle Branch. Welcome back to the second part of this video series of the Bluebird and Birdhouse acrylic painting. In the first part, we added the base coat of all the colors for this painting. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can finish your painting by adding all the texture, details, highlights, and shadows that'll bring your picture to life. We should already have your paint put out. We have the white, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, burnt sienna, cadmium red, and brilliant yellow. So now that we're ready, let's get started. So we're just gonna go ahead and start right back at the top again and go over all the colors. I'm gonna go ahead and um, paint the sky again. There's some places I can see where I missed. And you might wanna go ahead and um, refresh your water before you get started. And if some of your paints have begun to dry, go ahead and put out a little bit more. Some of my blue was getting um, dry. So I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna get into the ultramarine blue and white. making that sky color again. If you need to turn your picture, because we have a lot of straight edges, I turn mine. That way I'm able to use the edge of my brush to get a little bit closer. Cleaner lines. Okay, I am ready now. I've got my sky pretty much like I like it. I am ready to do the top part of this birdhouse and the sun is coming from up high from the right side so I want to have more light on top and on this side of the birdhouse this side is going to be a little darker because it's going to be in the shadow so we are going to now mix up the dark mix which was the burnt sienna this brown and this ultramarine blue we get this dark mix, almost a black, but it's not, it's just a very dark brown. Now let's add the white, leaving it streaked. We don't want to mix it too much, that way it gives it that weathered look. And I want this lighter than what I have here. I'm just going to put that on. I'm using a very light stroke. I don't want it to blend too much. And you want your strokes to go the same direction as this angle of this line. I'm just gonna get this top part. And I'm using my brush in the direction of the grain of wood. And remember, as you pick up some of the brown, some of the blue and white, just leave it very streaked on your palette. That way it looks like the grain of the wood. We need to darken that up just a little bit. So it's down on the shadow side. Just going to grab a little bit of blue. And this little piece of wood had a split in it, so I've got a little dark shadow there. We're going to work on this front part of the birdhouse and it's a little bit darker and we want to make this part underneath the roof even darker where it would be shaded by the overhang of the roof. So get the blue and the brown. 
Let's make that edge. I'm going to take some of this white and add it into that brown mix and then just very lightly streak. Once you get that like you like it, we'll go ahead and start on this right side of the birdhouse. This one's going to be even lighter. The sun's hitting it. So we use that dark mix, but add some more white to it. It's going to have quite a bit. Of white. So now I'm going to make the lighter edge that we see where the sun's shining in on this hole. You can see part of it. And we also have this edge here where the boards come together, this flat board here and this board, we have a little dark edge. Okay, we need to do this tree, put some texture on the tree. I'm just going to darken it up with some of this blue in my brown. Now I am ready to work on my bird. So we're going to go ahead and mix a small amount of white in with the blue. We'll just go back around the edges. Now I want to darken up just a little for the underneath. So let's just take some brown and add to that blue. I'm going to take some of this white in the blue and I'm going to make these little U-shaped lines on the wing. We can add, um, go back over the orange. There's the yellow and the cadmium red and a small amount of white. Make sure your blue is dry because if you mix the blue and yellow, you're going to get green. Okay, to bring your eye to life, it's just a flat black. You'll just take either a very tiny round brush or if you have a stylus, it's a little pen that's made out of metal. You can just touch that into the white and then just dot the eye. And it makes it look like it's a shiny eye. It brings it to life. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun painting your bluebird with your bluebird house. And if you enjoyed this video and like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe below. And if this painting inspired you to learn more about acrylic painting, check out always available books on Hoopla.